So how to conclude these theories? Well, there's no real answer. The answer is far too <clears throat> powerful for even any enlightened being to see. Papaji calls it the mystery. I call it beyondness. When you look into the horizon, you can only see a specific certain distance. It then becomes impossible for the eyes to see. That. And beyondness is something that can only be imagined. Same as a mystery. <clears throat> the outcome. is the intent of doing these videos. See, the experience, it means nothing unless something is revealed from the experience. Something that still gnaws inside. <clears throat> Even after the body dissolution, the ego dissolution, the recovery period, and the revelation of meeting this Holy Spirit and light and beginning, as Rumi did. It means nothing. It's just one individual soul trying to convey something. But the intent is, the wonderful intent, the intent is that science and religion and everything is moving in the right direction. And it's becoming non-moving, you see. They have to merge. Mr. Stephen Hawking is a wonderful, wonderful scientist. And there are many wonderful scientists that have came on this earth and gone. And their work has to be fully exposed and fully discovered. Religion, it's stuck, but its intent is to keep hoping, keep believing, keep, keep being the pacifist. And spirituality and religion are now merging and they're beginning to see that the, the inward is the outward. The outward is projecting through everything. Going in and returning back out, you see. Both sides are so vital. Religion is beginning to look inside. Not inside external sense, external worlds, but inside the single being, the single form. Science is looking outwards. I say go into the light, you see. Start from the beginning point and look into the what is assumed as darkness. But when a light has been punctured and is projecting outwards to reveal images and forms, something inside is operating it. Something inside is the source. How do we find that, you see? Everything that keeps everything going is consciousness, is life. Through life, you see, we have to go through life, through our own life. Whether you're in science and going through telescopes outward, or religion looking at God as an external force out in the universe, both are true. But the path is wrong. They're missing the internal, they're missing the inward, you see. If these theories which I feel are very, very close, 
we're looking at what is being exposed and not into what is exposing it. The thing that is exposing it is in darkness. Light within darkness, you see. This light has to be within the darkness. So the clue is, go within. The only thing that this body and mind stumbled upon accidentally, not through practices and mantras and strenuous, desperate urges, accidentally. A knowingness said, I've seen enough of this world. I'm in my train carriage, my physical train carriage, and the real carriage is split. And out of the windows, I see no more things that interest, that are, very, are of any interest. I've seen enough. And the only place to go is inside. Accidentally inside to be revealed into five years of moving along this light. Not wanting to stop. Not being able to stop. Something pulling on the umbilical cord. You're one. We've got you. To go within all this information, this knowledge that may be true, but truth can never be revealed through a human mind and a human body. It can only be experienced. Whatever was witnessed, I cannot share. Through pictures, and maybe pictures would have been better, being an artist, but it matters not, you see. I'm not in control of this body. This body is in con being controlled by something that is beautiful. I'm you see no harm coming from this body, no intent, nothing but offering. And you, the, the one who has a choice to take or leave, it's fine, you see. It matters not. Because what is revealed is the souls that want to go home, that have seen enough out of the train carriage. It's only a matter of time for you. It's only a matter of time. You see it on your own. You stumble upon it. You see through after this the value of science, the things that you condoned, the values of poverty, the values of richness, the values of religion, spirituality, the value of care, the value of non-care. You see the value of every opposite, the value of mind, the value of ego mind, the value of awakening, the value of enlightenment, the value of deep sleep, you see the value of suffering. You see the value of pain. You cannot see anything but value. So I wish science and religion all the best in the hope that they merge and that politics, politicians, which you see the value in, but they struggle. They're frightened, you see. The politicians are the most frightened. They want to stay on this earth forever. They want to remain here because of fear, not because of greed or power. They want to remain here because of fear, because they don't know anything other than this. Their soul inside is totally lost. But their intent is good, you see. The intent is we're looking to find. Everything is a reflection. Everything, Whatever you're looking at is a reflection of what you're looking for. When politicians look for hope, it's not bad. There's a, there's a sense of, wow, curiosity. When you want to be in control of everything and everything in your body and you want to control everything, there's no curiosity. You just want control. You want power. But you can see the value of power because it's an opposite. When you see the value of power, you must see the value of non-power, of freedom. You see? Anyway, I want to pay homage to all the great scientists, all the great saints, and in fact, everyone. I want to pay homage to life in the hope that these worlds may be taken as a joke. They may be taken as frivolous. 
There is some truth here, you see, but I'm unable to explain it through this body and mind. I simply want you to understand that you have the power. When the power comes, don't let go of it. See, you have the power, but you don't know where it is. It's right in your core being, right in your root, right in your umbilical cord. It has never been detached from this light. This light is billions of strands, you see, of umbilical cords of life, of love. The more they go home, the more strands are disconnected, the more this fades. But nothing's lost, because it's all happening inside. Good luck to you all. Namaste. I love you.